to my groom on our wedding day. <clears throat> Austin, I don't know where to start. After planning our wedding for a whole year, we have finally made it. The happiest day of our lives. I cannot be more excited to spend the rest of my life with you after the three years of being together. I can't imagine a single day without you. You have brought so much joy and happiness in my life. And I thank God every day for swiping right in my life. Today you will make me the happiest woman in the world to share your last name. I cannot express it enough how much you mean to me. I can't wait to see our future together. I love you so much. Austin Clayson Busby. Future Mrs. Busby. I don't want to cry. Okay. <laughs> okay. To my bride on our wedding day. To my wife. Sometimes you're a pain in the butt, but that's fine with me because you're the only pain in the butt that I would have. I'm so glad to call you mine. I'm, I'm ready to give you my all and you and start a beautiful life and family with you. I love you, babe, and I'm ready to get out of here and go to the ball. Almost. Just me and you and swim with some swan, aka pigs. I know that would have went over your head and your hearts. <laughs> John, I've got a big question for you. This is your big line in the ceremony. You come to this point, you've invested, you've loved, you've prepared her for this day. Who gives this woman to be married? Her mother and I do. Thank you so much. Love you, brother. If you, Austin and Megan, have followed God's will for your lives and have freely chosen each other as partners for life in His holy estate and know of no just cause why you should not be united, and as you face each other, I want to lead you in your vows. Austin, as you look at Megan, will you take Megan to be your wife? Will you commit to her usefulness in God's kingdom, to her happiness, to her self-fulfillment as a person? Will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her as long as you both shall live? Megan, I ask you the same vow. Will you take Austin to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness, to his self-fulfillment as a person, to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, to honor, to trust, and to serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Love, this kind of love is patient, it's kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. I love this. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. This is a great day. This is a day that I hope you cherish. It's a day that I believe God is going to honor and God's going to bless as you continue to walk with Him in the future. Since you've both made these vows before God and these assembled here today, it is my privilege to declare you husband and wife. You're no longer two independent persons, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Austin, let me kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Mr. Austin Dunn. I'm never tired and broken. I see you broken and beat. Head pulled down over your eyes. Everybody who wants to surrender, darling, you were meant to survive with every star. We are born again. Open your heart, spend this time in your head.
Lift me up.